Welcome to another Microsoft mini lesson. In this lesson, what we'll be looking at is how to separate names that have spaces between the first name and last name. The first question you should ask is, but why? That looks really nice this way. Well, the problem is sorting. If I click on any one of these names and go to the data tab, in the ribbon and then click the A Z button to sort it in alphabetical order I would do this notice that it didn't sort by last name it didn't sort by last name at all what it did was sort by first name and you might be thinking well that's not what I want I want to sort by last name well, you can't sort by last name as long as the first name and last name are in the same cell. So how do you fix this? First of all, select every one of your names. Then go up to the data tab one more time and click this button called text to columns. In the text to columns, the first choice we have is is this delimited or is this fixed width? Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, you will be choosing delimited. What does delimited actually mean? Delimited means that the names are separated by something. The name is separated, as we can see, the first name and the last name have a space between them. Every one of our first and last name scenarios set has a space between them. And so it is delimited. It is separated by a space. So let's click delimited. And then in the lower right corner, let's click next. Now, if you see at the bottom in the preview window, this is called the data preview window, that they're not really separated. There's my first names and my last names, but they're still not separated. And the reason for that is because it's tab delimited. It thinks that there's a tab between the first name and the last name. And we know it's not a tab, but a space. So we uncheck tab, click on that check mark to uncheck it, and then click the check next to space. Now notice the first name and the last name are now separated into different columns. Now, I don't have to continue with the Microsoft Wizard. I can just click Finish. And there you go. I now have my first names in one column and my last names in another column. I'm just going to go ahead and resize my columns so that all the names fit. Now, some people say, well, Bob, that's cool, but I want them back together. I have a, a spreadsheet where I have the first names and the last names, but I want them together. My way of doing this is by hitting the equal sign. I'm on cell C1, hitting the equal sign, clicking on the word Fred, clicking on the first name in this list. And now, do I want to attach Fred to Thomas? Not at all. Because if you did, it would be F-R-E-D-T-H-O-M-A-S. No space. I need to attach Fred to a space, then attach the space to Thomas. It's just like Tinker Toys. How do you attach A1 to a space? You add this ampersand tool which means attach or means add. In reality, it means concatenate. I'm actually putting together pieces of this. Now, I cannot do like a space bar. I cannot hit a space bar that will not work. I need to tell the computer I want a space by putting it inside of quotation marks. So I'm taking the first name and adding to it a space bar. Then I'm going to add to that the last name, which is right here in B1. I will hit enter, and you can see I have Fred Thomas 
Wonderful. Now, I can click for Ed Thomas, and I could either put my mouse on the lower right corner and drag this down, or a really awesome way of doing this is to double-click that lower right corner, and it fills out the rest of the names. Now, you may be thinking, wow, that is awesome. I'm done. I got my answer. No, <laughs> you don't. The reason for that is because these are formulas. If I click on Fred Thomas, it's a formula. If I click on Robert Jones, it's a formula. We don't want formulas. We want answers. And so what I'm going to do is to highlight these five names, go to the Home tab in the ribbon, and Copy. Now, of course, I could have done this by doing Control-C. Control-C is Copy. And you can see that all the names are copied because I have the moving marquee around it. Now, I'm going to go to D1, D1, and I'm going to right-click. Notice the huge menu of choices that I see. And inside of this menu of choices is a lot of paste option buttons. Now, here's what's awesome. I just love Microsoft. I really do. If you hover on any one of these buttons, notice the big menu disappears because it says, oh, you want to talk about the paste. Now, I'm going to the first one, and I'm not clicking yet. I'm hovering over the first one called Paste, and I'm looking at D1, and D1 says, Thomas, Fred Thomas. What? <laughs> what in the world is it doing, you know? Well, what it's doing is it's actually copying the formula. If I hit this button, if I hit Paste, or as a lot of people like to do, Control-V, as in victory, you be copying and pasting the formula. I don't want the formula. I want the results of the formula. And the results is this next button with the little one, two, three on it. This is values. And values means I want the answer to the formula. I don't want the formula. I want the answer to the formula. So the first button will give you what's in the formula bar. And the second button will give you what's on the cell. I'm going to go ahead and click values, your second button. I'll widen out this column. And notice if I click on Fred Thomas, D1, it's Fred Thomas. It's not a formula. This is awesome. Now, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key because I still have this marquee around my copied cells. So hitting escape on the keyboard will get rid of that. And now I don't need this column anymore because these are the exact same thing this is. Column C and column D look alike. However, column C is a formula, and I no longer need the formula. So I'm going to go up to the letter C, left-click on the letter C, right-click on the letter C, and halfway down, you'll see the word delete. Go ahead and click delete, and you've wiped out the formulas. And now if I click Fred Thomas C1, now I have the name. In this tutorial, you have learned how to take a column of first names and last names that have been separated by a space and break that up into two columns. And then we learned how to take the first and last name and combine them back together using the ampersand. And the ampersand, of course, I call it the concatenate button, or the uh, ampersand is the attachment, like I'm taking part A, attach it to part B, attach it to part C. Thank you for watching the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Every day, a new video, Monday through Friday, on anything dealing with the Microsoft Office Suite. Take care.